Oh, good morning. It is Lissy. It is Tuesday, February 17th. And I, um, I thought today I would do two things. One, just give you a little update on what I've been doing. And the other is talk to you about my skincare. Because a few of you have asked for that. So I am prepared to do that. So anyway, it, as I said, it's Tuesday morning. It was a long weekend here. I just want you to know, I know you're tired of hearing me complain. We got another blizzard yesterday. So in four weeks, we have had four snowstorms, like big snowstorms, two of which were, were blizzards. We got another foot and a half of snow. And it's just, I got, so I was in New Jersey this weekend. I went to visit my, um, I went to stay with my brother and my sister-in-law and see my two little nieces and my sister, brother-in-law, and my nephew came in. So we had a really fun time. Always, always too much wine. The wine consumption, it's like, I don't know what we're thinking. I'm not 21. I cannot handle it. <laughs> but inevitably, this is what happens. But I was supposed to just go down Saturday, stay overnight Saturday, and come home on Sunday. But because we were getting another blizzard, I switched my flight to Monday morning. So I got back yesterday morning, and oh my god, like... <sighs> Nothing shoveled, like just a mess. My stairs were not shoveled. Like I live in a building where the building is supposed to shovel and in Boston, like within two hours of the snow stopping, there's some rule or time frame. You know, your sidewalks are supposed to be shoveled and all that. Mine were not. So I got home yesterday, traipsed like through the snow into my place. I had stuff to do. Like I am on smack I know you hear this also all the time. I'm on I think I'm gonna cut out the carbs. So I really wanted to go to the grocery store yesterday, so I walked to the Whole Foods, which is like, it's at least a 10 or 15 minute walk, which I usually enjoy doing, but again, like, you know, half the sidewalks aren't shoveled, sometimes you have to walk in the street, so anyway, that's enough of that bitching. Um, so it's Tuesday morning, I'm going to work soon, but I'm going to show you my skincare. So I guess I will start with, um, okay. Serums. So I use, I may need to get my glasses out to read to you what these things say. Um, I use mostly La Mer products, but I never really pulled the trigger on the La Mer serum. And the last time I went for a facial, um, the woman that did my facial recommended this other serum to me, so I figured I'd try it. It's the Carita Paris Ideal Ducer Serum de Cotton Serum. Um, so I put this on first, um, before I put on any of my other, you know, skincare moisturizer. So then for eye, so then eye cream and skin and face cream, I use La Mer and I use, well, actually, so this is the La Mer Eye Balm Intense. There's another eye cream that comes in a little green container. That's the one I had been using. And quite frankly, I bought this one by mistake. I mean, the formula, it feels a little different when you put it on, but, um, you know, I, I, I don't have wrinkles under my eyes either way, so I feel like it's probably fine. Then, okay, for La Mer Cream, I use the Moisturizing Soft Cream by La Mer, and the, there's the traditional La Mer, you know, I don't know what they call it, but there's the regular La Mer and there's the Soft Cream. My understanding is the for, like what it does for your skin is the same, but the the traditional La Mer is a very tacky, thick cream. So you really have to like pat, pull it out and like warm it up between your hands and then kind of pat it into your skin. Whereas this is like more the um, you know, just like a normal consistency of any kind of moisturizer that most people would be used to. I love the La Mer products. For a long time, I was using, I don't know, you know, over the years, I've used all sorts of different things, but I think the, the La Mer products are expensive, but I feel like if you're going to spend money on one thing, um, spend it on your skincare, especially once you, you know, I'm in my 40s, so I feel like it's important. Now, the other thing, obviously, is sunblock. So this is the La Mer um, Broad Spectrum SPF 50. Um, I think you could really use the only, the thing with sunblock is they usually have a very sunblocky kind of odor. Like this is a thin, 
Um, like it doesn't leave really a film. It doesn't have that sunblock kind of smell. So I like this. And you just, you need very little. Oh, you know, I didn't bring it out, but I also wash with, um, with La Mer, um, you know, face wash. There are two different ones. One is more of a cream cleanser and you, um, you basically put it on your skin and you don't rinse it off. You kind of like use like a moist, like a wet, um, face towel or sometimes I use like, um, you know, like a cotton pad and some toner or something. But there's also another one that I use, like if I'm in the shower, that's kind of a more of a foaming face cleanser that you rinse off. Suppose I have dry skin. So supposedly the, the, the cream cleanser that you don't wash off with water is better for your skin, but I like the foaming one better because it, um, I feel cleaner <laughs> if that sounds normal. <laughs> and then the other thing I wanted to mention is, so I know I had told you guys when, um, when I came back from Florida last week or the week before, you know, Estee Lauder always is part of the gift bags for the Breast Cancer Research Foundation. And so over the, like, there's always something in there. And I have gotten both of these from gift bags. These are both nice, um, really nice serums. Um, the, this one is the Advanced Night Repair Serum, and this is the um, Idealist Even Skin Tone Illuminator. This is more of like a daytime serum, and this is more of a nighttime serum. I have used the nighttime in the morning. Like, I don't think you have to do one or the other. I mean, this one's probably a little more intense, um, but you can definitely use it during the day. But these are also both very nice um, serums. And then that is it for the skincare. Maybe I'll quickly go and get what um, I use to wash my face. So hold on. Okay, so this is the La Mer Cleansing Foam. So this is what I use, like, you know, this is the rinse off um, face cleanser. And I really think this isn't the one that necessarily is recommended for me in my drier skin. But I got it in a sample once and I really liked it. So I bought it, but I also, this is the one initially that pe the folks at the La Mer counter told me it would be better for my skin. It's the cleansing lotion. So this is the one you kind of, um, it's just a little pump, you know, you pump out a couple, rub it on, and then, you know, you can use like a, like I said, a wet face cloth or something, face cloth or something to rinse it off. Um, I should say bo both of these, but especially this one, I'm like, is it focusing? Maybe not. Um, but this one, like you need a tiny bit, like I cannot tell you how long I've had this. Um, this, this has been like, it, it honestly, it's like, I use a little like, you know, pea size and then rub it. it. It like really goes all over your face. Um, so I guess that's it for today. Um, I'll get up and show you my outfit. You know, it's really... The sad thing for somebody like me who just loves fashion is that it's so hard to get dressed like in this kind of weather because it is so cold out. And you know, I have to lug snow boots and you know, I have to wear snow boots and lug the regular shoes and you know, it's just really depressing. But I know you're so tired of hearing me complain, I'm sorry. Um, okay, so I am wearing Hermes bangles. This necklace, I cannot remember who the designer is. This I got at my local shop, um, Vi Viola Lovely, in the South End. There's one or two in the Burbs somewhere. Um, I'll find it and put it in the video or put it in the information box who, who this is by. This is a plain, um, basic Neiman Marcus cashmere sweater, turtleneck. My one criteria today was like, I cannot wear black again. So I'm wearing an off-white turtleneck, chocolate brown Acris Punto trousers, which are like, they're the most comfortable trousers. And I've got on some Chanel wedges, I'll show you. Um, but you know, I'm gonna actually wear my snow boots and then change into the shoes at work because God knows you cannot wear a normal pair of shoes right now. And I'm carrying my um, Celine bag. So, Yeah, let's see. 
shoes are the best part, always. But I love these Chanel wedges because they're, you know, they've got the cap toe. Actually, let me show you. The chain detail here, which is just the best part of them. And then the little kind of like imprinted Chanel logo here. You know, something else I'll tell you while I'm thinking of it, because I've been meaning to. I don't know what you do when you buy new shoes, but I always take my shoes to the cobbler and get this, like, no-slip stuff put on the bottom, and it protects your shoes, makes them last a lot longer. Um, I really do it with every pair of shoes. And they have this in also black, and then if you have Louboutins, they have it in red. Um, I go to a place in Boston called Rinaldi's Shoes, and it probably costs like 25 bucks a pair when I get it done, but I feel like it's well worth it because, um, like, if I'm going to spend what I spend on shoes and I'm buying beautiful classic shoes like this, I want them to really last a long time. Um, so I think that is it for today. I hope you've had, um, I hope you had a great weekend, and I will be back at you soon. Have a good one. Bye. Okay, so now you can see what I'm contending with here. These are my stairs. Piles of snow. And you see how the sidewalk, this is what I have to walk on. This is what should be the sidewalk. This is why I have to be like this. Easier to walk in the street. All right, so I'm signing off.